Welcome to Root Stem Gaming. Yay, another battle report. Um, today we've actually got a very special game. <laughs> we have Gene Stealers. Well, I'm saying Gene Stealers. It's a Tyranid army which is made up of nothing but Gene Stealers versus Gene Stealer Cult. Because, of course, when me and Grange, who's the opponent today, play, we actually decide that we're not going to tell each other what armies we're playing because it ends up being a hell of a lot better game because you can't tailor the force to the, to the actual army. Now, I'm waffling a little bit. Let's go on to this good-looking battlefield. This battlefield, ladies and gentlemen, has been completely created by Mr. Richard Grange from Form. Everything you see is a Form brick. Everything. I think it cost him 20 quid? 20 quid. 20 quid. And a lot of patience and time. Some Modge Podge. Um, it's a shame he didn't do videos because he could have shown you how to make this, to be honest. I wasn't saying I could always get him to do one and record it. Hey, oh. If he's still got some left. There's going to be a hell of a lot of line of sight blocking terrain on this, so it should be a good game. We're hoping, because it's nothing but pure gene stealers versus a very eclectic mix of heavy armour for a gene stealer cult army. Since in match play games, I can no longer deep strike on turn one. So that does, uh, does actually change how you play a little bit. Right, let's let's crack on with showing you some forces. Whoa, oh, sorry. Page 70, chapter approved, 2017. Um, something and burn? What was it? Yeah. Sorry, wrong one. Scorched Earth. So the Scorched Earth mission from 2017's chapter approved is what we're playing today. So we've got an objective down here. We've got an objective over here. An objective in the middle of the board. Another objective in the middle of the board there. One over there and one there. Now normally what we do, the reason we've got so scattered about is we actually pick the sides first and then when we put objectives down we state that you have to put one in your own deployment, one in no man's land and one in your enemy's deployment zone which actually makes the, the terrain or the field quite versatile and means that everyone's going to get a chance at objectives. Um, so basically, we've got to capture these objectives at the end of the game. We score a victory point for each objective we capture. I think at the end of each turn. I will double check that later. Um, and if we capture the ones in our enemies' deployment zones, we can destroy them. So basically, yes, yeah, each turn for an objective. But if we, if I captured this one as an example, I can destroy it for D three victory points. If Grange captures this one, he can destroy it for D three victory points, denying your enemy. But also meaning that no longer can you actually get any more points. So it will be quite interesting to see what happens on this. Especially with both armies that want to rip and tear. I would love to play some Doom music at the moment. But it's copyrighted. Right. Let's see what Grange has got. So let's have a look at a load of teeth. So today we are rocking one battalion. Which is made up of two broodlords. And then six squads, each of 11 gene stealers. That's about it, really. Uh, my warlord will be this chap here. He has got the Yudmal thing. You know, that one where I roll the dice and the fight phase and get a little bonus? That one. That one. And uh, his warlord trait is one that I will pick in a second. And what we also got is a patrol which is again led up by a Broodlord, and then three units of ten Gene Stealers, and that is it. Well, that's probably the shortest introduction to an army ever, really, isn't it? I mean, what, what hive role? Oh, what, I'm, what going to be using, yeah. I'm going to be using Kraken as my hive, uh, hive fleet, uh, just basically for the three dice and then run forward quickly, uh, which essentially is as tactical as this army gets. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it tends to end up with uh, me getting tabled by turn three. Well, In fact, no, no. Uh, I don't think I've gone further than turn three so far. So, you know, the challenge has been laid down to Franz Gene Stealers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway. another, yeah another army to go against. We'll uh, now look at Franz's army, uh, which I think was designed to fight my Imperial Guard, and not a load of teeth. <laughs> anyway, Francis. Right, this is my army. Yes, you can hear a bit of rain in the background. That's because it's very warm in Granger's dining room at this moment in time. Right, this is the Gene Stealer Cult Force. It's a battalion. It's also the one with the elites. Because I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, so it gives me nine command points. Now, my warlord, of course, is going to be a patriarch. 
he is going to be uh, he's going to have alien majesty so his ability to plus one to hit is going to be increased to a nine inch range uh, rather than it being just six he's also going to be rocking the elixir of the prime specimen that's my uh, one of my relics He's going to be, he increases his attacks, toughness and run characteristics by one. Because I am Twisted Helix. So I get to plus two to my um, advanced rolls. I also get plus one attack on anyone that's not fixed. So my Gene Stealers unfortunately can't have that. My um, Guard, the Brood Brothers can't have that. But everyone else gets an extra one strength, not attack, sorry, an extra plus one strength, which actually could be quite interesting against your guys, because it means I'll be wounding you on threes. Right, so we've also got a Magus as well, making up another part of the command. Um, a lot of the actual psychic powers have not gone through, because it's um, in my head I was thinking maybe it will take guard, and he hasn't. So a lot of the powers I'm thinking about are made to do against guard. I might take some psychic stimulus, and some might from beyond, maybe. I think actually, yeah, tell you what, Psychic Stimulus, Mike from Beyond. There we are, easy peasy. I've got an Icon Ward, so I'm going to be spending a command point, reducing me down to eight. He's going to have the Blasted Standard, or whatever it's called. Um, it's just basically to make sure that my guys are going to be able to rock with their abilities. These two are just two units of five Gene Stealers. That's it. Five Gene Stealers? Five Gene Stealers. Two units of five, two units of five. That gives me 10, that gives me 10. I've got five adherents as well, apologies for the unpainted model. I've still not got round to painting those figures. That's what happens when you have a life of a commission painter. Um, I've got a heavy weapons team from the Brew Brothers, two of them. I've got heavy, um, three rockets and I've got three heavy bolters. Again, thinking I'm reversing some tanks. We've got some tank busting ability and some infantry. So it'll be quite interesting to see what happens here. I've got a unit of 12 Brew Brothers. They're going to be going in that Chimera, which has heavy, got heavy flamer and a multi-laser. It's also got track guards, which are never deteriorating my movement, regardless of how many wounds I take. Two Luminous Battle Tanks. Both of them have got heavy flamer sponsons. This one here has got Battle Cannon and Last Cannon. That one there has got a heavy bolter and a Nova Cannon. They're hopefully going to be able to wreck some stuff. We've got a Grinder, a Goliath Rock Grinder. Standard, uh, it's got a, um, I think it's a seismic cannon plus a heavy stubber, and of course, hopefully, it should be able to make some mincemeat of various different units. Three units here of um, hybrids, or I think they're called acolyte hybrids. I know they're neophyte hybrids, they're something else. Uh, but three units of five with a special weapon in each. I'm going to be adding to these as well. I've actually got some more figures for me to add to this particular, these particular units. They're going to start rocking and rolling and becoming awesome. And then a eclectic mix again, 11, 13, 14, 15, 11, 13, yeah, 15 um, acolyte hybrids, two mining lasers, two grenade launchers, and him in the big red trousers. He is the actual squad leader. So that's it. Uh, 1500 points going against Granger's 1500 points worth of gene stealers. This is going to be quite interesting, I think. Right, we're going to be setting one unit up at a time. Mine, of course, are going to be blips, because I'm Gene Steeler Colt. And our little story, if you want to call it that, is basically going to be that I am not obeying Hive, the Hive's commands. And of course, he's sent some infiltrators to investigate. And we're not happy. <laughs> we don't want to become part of Hive Fleet Kraken. We're fine by ourselves. Right, let's deploy and bring you in to see what happens for the first turn. So we've deployed. I've deployed a flurry of counters. Now, don't get me wrong, these units here are all in reserve. And I've counted up, it's, it's less than half of my actual points value. That's what we're going on because we don't really play power level when it's narrative. And then he's deployed over there. I like how his, his units are kind of merging with the terrain a little bit on this. Very, very camouflaged and thematic. Now Grange got down first, so I'm going to let him roll the d6, and he gets a plus one, see if he gets first turn. Six. So, that makes so I seven. cannot win. So there's no point in me rolling against it. I might as well roll for a seize now. 
I got a one. Because these crappy elder dice, I can't remember where I got them from, are terrible. And I haven't got my normal root stem dice because I've got the club. Because I keep them back. So, Grange will be going first. If you've never played the game before, basically all of them stay hidden until he's finished moving. Once he's finished moving, I then reveal the counters. Right then, sir. We're going to go into Tyranids, turn one. So Grange has hurtled forward. You've used a command point on that to double its movement, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, you still have to charge when you I am still have to charge. Wow, okay. <laughs> right. God, that's insane. Um, and I've had to deploy my units. So all my units are down. And all the units here were fakes. Yay! Draw them in. <laughs> Whoa, it's... Yeah. Tactical master yeah, class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course it is, man. Of course it is. It's a... So regular one. You've got two guys holding objectives there, so that's not too bad. Right then, sir. Um, psychic powers then. Psychic powers. Because you haven't got I a shooting phase, I, I will record yeah. this. Uh, so I didn't actually explain it at the beginning. Okay. He's got catalyst. Yep. The other two have got horror, and obviously smite. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll start with the horror. The horror. Who's got the horror? Uh, the, uh, this one, that one and that one. Ah, right, okay, yep. Yeah. Right, so 24 inches. the purple back, he's the commander. He's the, he's the warlord there. 24 he's inches, oh. oh and I'm going to put that onto, uh, onto oh. that. What do you need? The horror needs six. And I get it you with got six. It. And what does it happen to me? Uh, that's a minus one to hit. Oh, well. So, Flamers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Flamers. Like, no yeah, other yeah, yeah. terrified of. Yeah, well, yeah, that is true. Right, moving on. All right, so he's going to cast Catalyst on these. What do you need, sir? That I need, again, a six. And I have it with a seven. Yeah, I have it with a seven. We'll put that down there. That's not good for me. It means he's got two saves of five, so it's basically a five up with a re-roll. Yes. Next, uh, is this lad here? He's only really got Smite and, and nothing with it, really. <laughs> So that was a fantastic, fantastic phase. Dead easy, dead quick. Right, Gene Steelers versus Gene Steeler Cult. Surprisingly, my psychers are going to be affected by your hive mind. As it should yeah, be. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be immune to that. All right, okay. I'm guessing you're going to charge that. I am. All right, let's do some overwatch. We've done your overwatch, didn't do anything. Grange needed a nine. He got a seven. He re-rolled. He got an eight. <laughs> so... His unit is out in the open. This might be quite amusing. Um, these guys here, he's down to six command points. At the end of his turn, he scores two VPs for being next to two of... Oh, three Four. VPs. Four. Oh, my God. Four VPs. Four VPs, Fran. Jesus. I didn't notice that. Four VPs. Yeah, I think he's going to run away with this. Victory points-wise, I'm going to have to try and table them as best I can. <laughs> right. It's my turn to do some stuff. Gene Steeler Cult, turn one. So I've rocked up. Not a lot of movement forward, surprisingly. I'm waiting for my reserves to come in. The Rat Luminous has moved up to try and get Heavy Flames onto them because they've got Catalyst. I did fire his Smite and managed to kill three of them. So he did actually do well there. Uh, I've got five pistols, which I'll fire now, needing threes. I know I've only rolled four dice. I actually thought I'd miss one of them. Never mind. Oh look, I actually hit them all. Uh, right, that's never happened before. Fives to hit. Fives to wound, sorry. And no wounds. There we go. There's the dice that I'm used to. You'll know and love. You'll know, know and love. And then I'm going to fire the Goliath Rock Grinders Seismic Cannon, which is a heavy six, into these. Need, again, I'll roll five dice. I need fives and sixes to hit, so I'll just re-roll one. That's three hits. Uh, it's only strength four at this particular profile. So it's going to need fours. That's one wound. Five up in front of all. First and he's saved. This is not going to go well. These lads here, 22 last gun shots because they were in rapid fire. Into these. I've got 22 here. Force to hit. I did forget to fire a heavy stub of air, which is actually fired into them and scored a wound. 16 of these guards going to have hit. Needing fives and sixes to wound. That fell out of my hand. Yeah. There we go. Right. Ooh, not too bad. Seven wounds on the Steelers, needing five ups. Oh, one saved, six go down. That's really chewed them to pieces. But still enough in there to be able to uh, 
take them on if need be. I think I'll put the multi-laser into them, needing fives, two hits, needing threes, one more wound upon those guys, sir. Uh, no. Another one goes down, and then we've got three heavy bolters with line of sight to them. Bolters and nine shots, needing fours. Oh, that was very poor. Very poor. I got two hits out of all that. Uh, freeze to wound. One wound. That wasn't good at all. Does manage to take one down now, but I did. Uh, it's kicked up a. Must be all that last gun fire. It's kicked up a hell of a lot of smoke and dust. All right. Moving along. These lads are going to open up into these here. I'm going to fire frag missiles. That is 12 shots. Force to hit. It's a miss, 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 miss. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm Vince repeating, he forced a wound. We've got four, four wounds out of 12 shots on those steelers there. We go, go down, so I'm chewing them up. The problem is, is that turn two is going to be in my lines. There's three of them, yeah. It's gone yep, down. Yeah, three of them. And then we've got Big Lad here. What's he going to do? Battle cannons actually can see these guys, so I'm going to concentrate firepower because apparently it wins battles. So <laughs> they stood still, so I do get the, uh, the two shots effectively. So that will be this many. Needing fours, Oof. two misses, and needing twos with a battle cannon. That will be four, another four wounds, sir, and I'll do a last cannon, which hits and wounds. So that will be five wounds in total. Another three, three of those go down. Again, if morale were a thing, this would be dangerous and deadly. Right, on to the Nova Cannon. So he is within six, uh, eight inches of those guys. I'm not firing at them because of Catalyst. So 2d6 auto hits, gives me nine. In freeze would have been Heavy Flamers. Uh, that would be five wounds, sir, with the heavies. Which unit, sorry? Against this unit that's not got Catalyst. Okay. Ooh, that'll be four down. Heavy bolter. Now I've got the horror on me and I have moved, so it's going to be sixes for this heavy to bolter to hit. Didn't hit. 1d6 shots with the Nova because I moved. Three. This needs fives because it's a turret weapon. Nothing. So the heavy. Oh. It's a lovely terrain, very light. <laughs> it likes to go everywhere. I think that's fair. It's more the thing of you're very clumsy. Uh, that's, that's actually <laughs> correct. I do actually knock a lot of stuff, to be honest. So that's my shooting, taking out quite a few stealers over there. Yeah, I managed to get a few down, but it, morale is not a thing. So, let's get some charging done. Right, this lot here, the schmoz has managed to get in. I've got horror, so I can't actually hit. So, he's just basically going to try and hold them up. I know he might die, but he's going to try and hold them up. These lads, however, he's going to pile in. We're going to get some great attacks coming in. So I'm going to go with three normal guys first. We've got two sets of rending claws per guy, which is two attacks, and then we've got one attack normal with their extra close combat weapon. Needing threes. Not too bad. Now I am strength five because of twisted helix, so I actually need threes to wound you. Which didn't do me any good because I rolled a bunch of ones and twos. Why is it when I come to your house, I roll crap? So that's going to be <laughs> three wounds, mate, so far. Okay. And then we've got a rock a saw. We've got two hits. This is going to need twos. We've got two wounds with that, so you might as well add it to it because it doesn't matter about... Yeah. Oh, actually, no, that doesn't matter about how much damage, so put them two aside. Okay. Because I think the rock saw causes a straight two, so that will matter when it comes to Catalyst. And then we've got... A guy with a lash whip and bone sword. It's once. And he doesn't wound. Cracking times at Richmond High. So the free normal free needs normal. fives followed by fives. So that's one save. Save so far. I mean, his catalyst uh, save. Uh, no, no so he loses two. number two. 
do go down. Ow! And <laughs> spiked himself. Freaking gene stealers. <laughs> ah, that's brilliant. And then two saves from the rock saw. So two normal saves to begin with. One save. One five, and then you need two fives on this one because it's a damage of two to be able to save. Mm. No, so it does take out another one. And then if I use my fringe consolidation, I'll go there because that will be the closest enemy. And I'll go there with it being the closest enemy. And then Grange gets to attack back. Right, so you've got 15 attacks back. Are we all going against these guys or are we going against, against guys, all against yeah. them? So hit on twos? Yep. And he needs threes to wound, any sixes put to one side for me. Two sixes. So two sixes. And then four, uh, four more wounds. Four normal wounds. Needing sixes to save. The save's only five up, but it's a minus one. I do save one of them, but that's three for five dead. So that little five man unit has gone down. And I believe that will be first blood in the first battle round of the game. So they're gone. And then they get to consolidate. Nice. All right, so next off, it's six of these guys. Oh, sorry, so one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven of them. Oh, 21. Oh, yeah, 21 attack. <laughs> yep, yeah, uh, we'll take the horror off because that's going to, and we'll take Catalyst off because it's going to be his turn next anyway. Um, so he needs twos to hit because he's within six of that. It's going to be twos, and then it's going to be sixes yes. to do any damage. But I can't save if he does do any damage. Oh, to no, him. he can. He's my sixes. Hmm? It's only minus three. What's it minus four? For it's minus three. All oh, right, okay. Uh, yeah, I go on it. Uh, uh, I'll, we'll check. I'll check. I'll check. I, think, I think it's minus four. It's twos to hit. Quite a lot of hits. Not many misses. Then this is when it comes to dreaded sixes. How many did you score there, sir? Three. Three of them? Right. Let's check. That takes him down to nine wounds. There we are. Right then, sir. So, it's now going to be Granger's turn two. And then when it comes to my turn two, this is when my extras can come up. How many points have you scored, Frank? I've scored one. Whoopee! <laughs> so, I will put the dice down. And I will be on that little elder marker. Did I, did I get first blood as well? You did, yes. Yeah. So you're going to be on five. So you've done very well for the first turn. Uh, but against your type of army, with its ultra fastness and the fact that you can run into four objectives in turn one, means I'm going to be fighting. I'm going to be pulling it back from behind. Right. <laughs> for now. For now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right then, sir. Let's go into the Tyranids. I want to keep calling them Gene Steels, but it's not. It's a Tyranids army. So it's Tyranids turn two. Right, these lads have actually broken out of combat, so they've fallen back. Um, they've tried to they've basically capture that objective. I'm not doing very well. My tactics have been terrible on this. Uh, <laughs> these have hurtled down here. Granger's another command point again to make sure that these lads can actually move up. These lads, I'm talking Oxy, can move up. They're green and nasty, but yeah. Well, they are green and nasty. That broodlord moved forward. They've remained in combat, possibly to negate any sort of heavy flamer. Uh, he's moved up. These lads here have moved up probably to try and get in touch with this. Might not be a good idea for you, that, by the way. Uh, <laughs> so also possibly going to try and get in touch with that. And then these here, these cheeky swords, I didn't realise. I think Brain just purposely built these terrain pieces for his Gene Stealer Colt because I can't see his Gene Stealer Colt, his Gene Stealer Army, because I can't see. Hmm. Evil. Evil, evil man. And where did they go? Oh, damn. They just stuck down here. So oh, all right, okay. Because there's only two of them left. Yeah, so yeah, really yeah, yeah. Nearly killed all of them. Yeah. Uh, if, if it was morale was a thing, they would be dead. Right, and then we've got these guys here. We've got these lads here. Right. All right, then. Yeah. No problem. Right. Let's see what happens. Psychic uh, phrase, and sir, what are you doing first? Right. We're going to throw a smite yep. into the tank. Go ahead. Yeah. Five. It's going to cause. One wound. One wound. That's down to eight. Next one. Yep. Smite into the tank. Okay. I'm not even going to attempt to nullify it. Five again. That's a fail because it we're playing a narrative game. Mother Hubbard. Are you wanting to command points, sir? You've got five left. No, I'm going to do it the old fashioned way with tooth and claw. Okay. What's he doing? 
Uh, uh, well, he's only got uh, the horror, and I'm just going to check if you need a line of sight. I probably think okay. he will. Horror has to be visible, and so does Smite, and because he decided to set himself up in this little chapel. He can't see! So, <laughs> I think we'll have to have a narrative game with some of my sisters of battle here, by the way. That would be quite interesting. Right then, sir. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, that's it, I think. That's it. Shooting! Done. Hey! Right, okay. Shall we go into Let's charging? Let's do some charging and some overwatch. Right, so because they fell back, not bacon to nothing, but this squad here has spread out and got into the Magus and that uh, rock grinder. They've got into the rock grinder. Them two have piled into the Lehman Russ. Um, did knock a wound off. Break smiting? Yeah, smiting. Yeah, smite. Smitted a wound. And then this lot here have surged into all of these. Now, he did declare against both that and that, so if he wipes them out, and when he consolidates in, he can then attack that tank. Uh, because, of course, he's got the cheeky piece of terrain. So <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely an hour ago, Fran. You were oh, look at this, it's really nice. Now it's cheating. It's a cheeky piece of terrain, Grange. It's not me that's using it. I've not got Primaris Marines hurtling forward. You do have a couple of guys there, but that's to control that objective. So, which one are you going to go with first? Uh, I'm going to start over the far corner with the Gene Stealers. The Gene Stealers in the far corner. Right, let's break this up. So, we've broken this down. Well, if it's two, it's only going to be ten. It's yeah. going to be eight attacks against every Bolter team. It's these yeah. guys here, these, these five, because within an inch of an inch, are going to attack these here. So the, the, the missile launcher team are going to attack five guys with four attacks apiece, needing twos to hit. Yeah. I think I'm going to have a dead missile launcher team. Yeah, that's, that's definitely what I want as another one there. It's definitely what I wanted from your dice roll in there, Grinch. Yeah, no problem. Uh, <laughs> Aim to Three's to wound. Three's to wound. That's Any one. sixes? Uh, just two, two, so that will kill one of the stands, so I'll take that one off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more wounds at minus one. So I need a hell of a lot of sixes. <laughs> that's what you're saying, isn't it? A lot, lots of them. Because if I get enough to sit, keep this on my wound, I'll keep him there, and then he can't actually, well, boy, he can, technically. Nope! Not one six. So the heavy weapon team perish. Eight attacks against the heavy weapon team. Need twos. <laughs> Lovely. Six, six hits. It's enough to kill them all. Need threes. Doesn't kill them all. No. Uh, but you've got four at uh, minus one. No sixes. So it does kill, t kill two of the team. So I will keep him there. Meaning any consolidation is going to have to go into him so we can't get within an inch of this. Then you've got three guys going there. So that's 12 attacks. Yep. All hit. Oh, Jesus. Three to one. And that's looking good for me. So it's just... One six would be one dead. One dead and then another six wounds. Four, five, six. Move into three. I did save one, so I lose six in total because you've got one six and then, yeah, another six ones. So I lose six men. Right, that's the devastation over there. So they've consolidated towards the nearest enemy model, which is the heavy bolt team. So I'm going to interrupt with this thing, knocking me down four command points left. Six attacks with that against these blads here because this unit actually no. How many is in the squad? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If I kill two of them, that reduces them down to three attacks apiece. Yes. So I will put my attacks against those. I half hit. So that's three hits. Two to wound. All wounded. Because it's strength nine, minus three, and hell of a lot of damage. Oh, for God's sake! Sorry, Fran. Oh, every time. Sorry, every man. time I kill one. One gene stealer. Still get, the, still get the extra attack, from. <sighs> Valiant effort, but again to naught. I enjoyed every, it, though, Fran. Yeah, I know you do. I'm going to stop coming. I'm stop playing with Grangers. Right. <laughs> Right. Your next unit, sir, what are you going to be going with? Right, as soon as you can. Yeah, yeah. We'll just, we'll just take him yeah, into there. Yeah. Right, so the Gene Stealer, because he did declare against both, and that died, is then consolidated into him. I'm 
I'm like losing a lot, man. Don't get me wrong, nearly half my arm is off the table, but I'm getting mullet. Right then, sir. So, hit on twos? Yep. I could really do without roll next time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you do get to re roll because yes. of your talons. So you need fives and sixes. So you've got two sixes. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Right, so these... 3, 6, 9, 12. Is that a dead tank? That is a dead tank. Yes, that's... There was only... Yes, those are at minus 6 and a flat 3 damage. Oh, I nearly ran on a 6 and hit the... And then you can consolidate because it's ending towards this one. You can actually consolidate today. I've got a funny feeling this is going to be game over, turn two. No. Christ. Right, next one is going to be his warlord. His warlord just rolled for his young girl factor. He's got plus one toughness. Cracking. Right, six attacks again. Let's see if he can rinse and repeat like he did last time. Uh, roll more dice right. than I need. Do that again. Yeah. <laughs> you still roll more so, dice. No, I haven't. You've rolled seven. Okay, we'll get rid of another one. <laughs> I really want to destroy this tank! I've noticed! Six dice! Now I finally roll two ones! Yay! Is... That's, that's karma and punishment, that. Right, fives to wound. One at the minute. One at the moment. We'll get me to roll these. Yeah. <gasps> boom, 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 boom. Now the base attack is a minus three. So, I do get saves on them, which I don't get. So that's done three, plus three D3 damage. So that's three. Three, four, five, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine. I've got eight, eight left. You go kaboom. <gasps> Rigged to blow. Mother. That automatically goes kaboom. Oh, this lot. Gonna take some wounds. So we've checked it. Rigged to blow. This squad's in. That squad's in, of course. That squad's in. And these two lads are in here. So the squad's first. So this one, they lose three. This one, they just lose one. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. Enjoy that. <laughs> they lose one. I did. This squad here, which has been reduced down to 10 men and has not attacked yet, loses another one. So he no longer has his plus attacks. <laughs> Warlord. He takes two wounds as well. And the boat behind him. He takes three wounds. So in death, this Lehman Rust Battle Tank has actually done more damage than my units did in shooting. So <laughs> we've got a lot of wounding going on. Right, so the Gene Steelers have this unit of Gene Steelers, which has now been reduced to nine men, making it only three attacks apiece. I know it's still a lot of attacks, but those extra attacks can hurt. So which one's first, Screen? We're going to hit your. So four into the Magus. Magus. In and twos. Yeah. What's your toughness? Only three, my friend. He's a Magus. Not that strong. Let's find out how many wounds he's got. Right, so, eight dice. Needing sixes. Yeah, he's dead, Dave. Not one six. So he's ripped to pieces by the Gene Steelers and absorbed back into the hive he did not want to be absorbed by. Rinse, repeat with this then, sir. Yes. Right, okay. Tough to seven on this, you are going to need fives to wound with all. So two's to hit. All okay. hit. Fives to wound. For Christ's sake. Um, how many sixes? How many dice here? Uh, that is five sixes at the minute. And then a further to uh, two fives. So. Alright, so the two fives, yep. you can save on a five up for a farmer. So I didn't save. So it's going to be seven ignore damage dice. And I get one six. How many times do you want to roll a six? And how many times do I not want to roll? I've rolled a lot of ones. So he takes six damage. He's down to four damage left. Four, right. Six, These five, six five. are within six of him. So we're hitting on twos. Three, six, three shot attacks apiece. Yeah. And there's six of them. Yeah. So a lot of dice that grind again. Yeah. Hang on. I'm four wounds left on this. Please explode. Because if I explode, I'll laugh. I'll leave me with a chimera. And, yeah. Go on then, sir. I've done a lot of ones, Fran. For once. 
you still got more sixes in that dice roll than I do um, <laughs> while I'm here. <laughs> right. Fives to wound. Um, wow, no sixes. No sixes Two fine. left. Great. I saved one. One goes through. And it goes through. So he's down to three on here. Which is not good. Damn it. Oh well. Right then, sir. What are you going to do? He's got a card in his hand, ladies and gentlemen. I don't like the look of this. Are you, how many points have I got left? you got four. four. Um, I'm going to Adrenaline Surge. Are you? Yeah. I'm going to try and wipe out the rest of these and then I can roll into that, uh, that Chimera and lock it down. This is Granger's Consolidation. And this is what it's like after it. So I've got two of those guys left. We did forget that they're actually supposed to fight before this happened, so I did manage to remove a man. Uh, and thankfully Grange didn't actually roll any. Um, he didn't roll four for each person, he rolled three. But it's consolidated into the Chimera. I can't do anything because it's the end of the fight phase, which means that Chimera is now useless for this particular turn. They're on a leadership of minus 10, so I might as well tech them off, because whatever I roll on a D6 is going to be gone. That doesn't do any morale. So the only thing I've got left on the table at the end of turn two, before my reinforcements arrive, is a Chimera and a really badly wounded Rock Grinder. I'm doing well. <laughs> I'm doing really well. And then Green scores. One, two, three, four. And then what you want to do with this, sir? You want to wreck it? I'm going to wreck it. He's wrecked it. D3 for another one. I'm and then. I'm going to wreck it. So remove it, for another three. So he scored four, he scored eight points, and he's already got five on the board. That is insane. That is, yeah, eight. 13. 13 VPs to one. I think this is gonna be a whitewash, but we always play the turn. Let's go into Gene Steeler's turn two. Right, that unit's broken away from combat. These guys have turned up here, possibly to try and steal that. I might do some pistol shooting down into these boys. These stealers with the Patriarch has popped up over there. And then of course this slot has actually used two command points. I've got within three inches so I can open fire. And then some adamants which are nine inch away I might be able to try and get in. And then I've got my uh, Acolyte Icon Ward sat there ready to make sure all this lot I've got a six up feel no pain. In fact... It makes them, I think it makes them four up, or no, re-roll one, so they're five up feeling no pain with re-rolling ones because of the, uh, the banner. Right, he's staying in combat there, reasons, and then <laughs> we've got some shooting to do, so I'm going to check some ranges, I think I've got about five pistols that can shoot into these. Four pistols, in of these guys, I'm needing fours, one hit, no wound. These dice are amazing, Grange. They're absolutely amazing. These root stamp ones available uh, to purchase. Uh, uh, they're dream, no right? longer available to not? purchase. No. Oh. If you're wanting some root stamp dice, you have to put a specific order in with myself. So you'll have to message. Uh, I am rolling that shooting, but I'm not. I'm going to go travel back in time to some psychic phase. And he's going to cast Mike from Beyond on that unit of Gene Steeler there. Yep. So that basically gives him a plus one strength attack. Various different things. Right, back to the main game. Yeah, this lot opening fire. Right, that's what's happened after that round of shooting. I'm just going to use this one VP. One more pistol shot. He's a hit. And doesn't wound. So you can go back down to being a one again. Yay! <laughs> so, it's... God damn it, it's the amount of charge and he's unreal. So it's on to charges. So let's see if I can get units into combat. To kill stuff. Here we go. They're looking across the field. They failed to charge and get in. They failed to charge and get in. So I've not been able to capture that objective. Hopefully I've got enough within three to capture that one. Because I'm troops and he's troops and I should override him. And I'm hoping he's not within 24. Because if not he's got a morale test to take. Or is it within 12? 12. 12. 12. Yeah, 24. 24 you get something. I'm sure you get... Extra oh, behavioural. Behavioural. Yeah. So hopefully you might lose some when it comes to morale phase. They managed to get in, the ones that's got the psychic power on them, and the Broodlord managed to get in as well. So they've managed to charge into those. 
hopefully the unit behind them failed so i'm hoping they can make mince meat of this right so i'm going to start with the brood lord now he's got six attacks normally plus one for his relic um which makes him quite hard needing twos typical um i need threes with rerolls That's one, two, three, four, that's five damage so far. That five kills five. Now the other unit's got plus one attack, so they actually are on four each. Ranger's not got enough command points to be able to actually interrupt, so I'm gonna gather the dice and roll some. Eating twos. A couple of ones there. Freeze to wound. Oh, I'll just roll it. <laughs> Oh, that's plenty. Uh, oh, it might not be. Oh, I don't know. That's not, and that's not. And that isn't. So that's going to be five. That's ten. That's going to be twelve. Saves a five up on the remaining guys. No. They're gone. So I might be able to crawl some of this amazing lead he has back. And they'll consolidate all into that. That's it for charges. And then we go to my units, so I need to find out how many attacks this now has got. So D6 attacks, he's got five. Oh, mm. He doesn't have a deteriorating profile for the weapon skill. So he needs fours. Only two. Needing twos. Mm. One, which will be on this one here. Saved it from. Right, they get the fight back. Which unit first? I'll do the ones at the back. The ones at the back, Freen's Consolidation. Oh, thank you, Frank. You're welcome, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll come back when I'm counting some dice. Oh dear. Enough for eight in his hands. Basically, any up to three ones we can re roll. So, I'll get rid of that one. Because that's the three extra attacks. Hey! Hey! <laughs> two ones and a two. Uh, needing fives and sixes. Yep, toughness seven. I think it should be toughness eight personally. Uh, any sixes are going to punch straight through, which base well, we're going to allow me to roll my sixes. Any fives? So he's got three fives. And four sixes. So the three fives to start with. One saves. So that will be one. That's four. That's six. Ignoring on sixes. I don't. And again, my last command point. Kaboom! Big table! Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> so again, he explodes. How many on your warlord? Three. Warlord's down to one. <laughs> oh, nearly. This lot. One of them. This lot. Three of them. Not bad. So onto the morale phase. These have got a leadership of nine and have lost seven. So roll your dice, sir. They didn't lose any. So now we're gonna have to measure up. So we've just measured up. There is three of mine within three. Just. And three of his within three. Meaning it's a draw. So I can't reduce that one to nothing. So it's actually important. I have got that one and I can destroy it, which gives me two VPs. So that will mean that I'll be on three victory points compared to his 13. And I didn't score, I'll take the tank off in a minute. I didn't score any more VPs. <laughs> Shall we find out what the Tyranids do to, gene, to traitorous, non-conformist gene stealers in turn three, Kitty Winks? Yay! Uh, <sighs> spoiler alert, <laughs> nom nom nom. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, this is bad. Tyranids turn three. Right, Colt, uh, I keep saying what I'm going to say, Colt, Tyranid movement. They're staying there, they're just like, we're well, just going to breed on this uh, objective. Uh, they've run round and we ignored the Chimera. He's hurtled across there. They've shimmied up. They've shimmied up. They've really shimmied up, spending his last command point to be able to hurtle forward. They've actually not changed the turn count to his turn three. Um, they've moved up to try and hit the Adamants. And then these lads here just look like they're going to be doing some psychic shenanigans. Right then, sir. What's happening? 
Psychic right. prayers. Psychic prayers. Uh, well, lads. Yep. No catalyst onto these lads. Okay. On a six. Yep. It's a fail. Well, we don't get that. No, you don't. Yeah. And therefore, uh, we're going to go from him, and we're going to put the horror. On okay. Ooh, or should I horrify these? Ooh, thinky, thinky, thinky. Um, we're gonna horrify your jeans dealers. Go on, Enzo. You try. Or yeah. oh, maybe you will. I'll try and stop that because I'm sure he's within 24 of him. You will be. And he says, "Yeah, go ahead." I'm starting to submit to the will of the hive mind. <laughs> my my cult is not uh, not resisting. No. It looks like it's going to be absorbed by High Fleet Kraken, regardless of what they think. <sighs> right, we'll uh, do some charges off camera with many, 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 many shots of Overwatch. Charges across the board. Again. What's on them? Oh, horror. The horror name, yeah. But it might not become yeah. prevalent. But... Uh, right, which unit are you going with first? Uh, I'm going to throw a bit of Gene Steeler on Gene Steeler action. So your guys versus my guys. Five versus five. You've got three attacks apiece. Needing freeze to hit. Not bad. Yeah. And you need force to wound. Christ. It's your finale range. Just go away. That's only five. Seven. 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 Out of how many attacks then? Uh, and then, 15. it's only 50-50. Ah, bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Oh look, look what I roll when I roll five ups to save. Pissing one. They're all dead. Nom 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 nom. Are you consolidating? Uh, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> Stay <laughs> here. Uh, give me these heels. Throw them away. Next, over here. Uh, we'll do this lot here. Oh, great. So we're going to go, them three are going to go into the Acolyte. Those six there are going to go into the squad. So the squad, needing freeze to hit. You know, when you first got these dice, they were rubbish. They were rubbish. <laughs> Just so shows you, doesn't it? Them, I've had them blessed. Look at the dice, gods. Um, He's baked them, ladies and gentlemen. He has baked them. Need him freeze. So that what many. the flipping heck, Grange? That many, Fran. Blimey hell. Have they got any armour? Yeah, five. Nine saves, and then I've got to ignore them. Right, okay. So five up minus one becomes a six up. So I save. Oh, -hoo, three of them. Yeah, there we go. And then you did two sixes, didn't you? Uh, yes. So it's this lot to ignore wounds on a six due to the icon ward. There you go, it's not that bad. Five, it's barely, still bad, barely, it's still bad. Barely killed any. So that's five of them gone. Three attacks into the icon ward. In freeze. And I think you need freeze, but roll it and then we'll check. Yeah, we need to check. So four wounds on the icon ward. Natural save, sixes. No, because of the banner, sixes. Oh, come on, give me a break. Icon ward goes down. These three are going now. Now I don't get the sixes. So nine attacks, new freeze. Oh, that's oh thank God for that. That's pretty rubbish. <laughs> Two. 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 Need sixes. I got one. So that's another one gone down. M4 now against my adherents. I'm taking a proper kicking. Need increase. Adherents toughness is four. So fours. That's two sixes. And three normal saves. Three normal saves. So the adherents are off to save a five up. So that turns up to a six. So I save one. So that will be four wounds that go through to the adherents. Adherents ignore wounds on a five or six. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Oh, 
two wounds apiece, thank God, so I lose two. So down here we've got four going into this unit, four going into that unit. So uh, I think, wow, we're in six, aren't we? So maybe twos. Uh, Toughness. Toughness is on the three. It's what weighing me down on this. No, there you go. That's, that's four yeah, saves. Uh, four saves of six. Oh, yeah, there you go. Five men in the unit, four saves of six. I think I'm, I think some guys are going down. Oh, look! Four has gone down, leaving the special weapon, which is the drill. And then against the other unit. Uh, yeah, they all hit. They all hit. Three to one. Don't be complaining, Mills. Uh, Mills. 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 How dare you dare you? Green. Five. And I saved two that time. Actually, he's a leader, so that will be them three gone. Can I fight back now? You can have a go now, Brown, if you like. No, I can have a go. Cheers, yeah, thank no, you very much. Right, yeah, believe. Believe. right, starting over here then. So I've got three attacks, plus one for his little sword from that leader. You need freeze. I need freeze to wound you. Same as you need me. Uh, he's done four wounds. How's that leader? Need fives. No, he kills four of the gene stealers. Uh, two attacks from the claw. One hit, two to wound. It's not wounded, typical. Remember drill. One hit. I'm not sure what this needs. So it's wounded, but I need to check its rule. To save that wound then, sir? No. No. So you lost another one. But they're not gonna be affected by morale. No. Because I will. Yes. Moving on. Adherence. Right. Now with the adherence, right, so I'm gonna go with the hypermorph first, the Blood Angel dice will be for his Rending Claws. I don't hit with his Rending Claws, but I do hit three times with the Power Hammer. Times two of his strength. Two wounds. On One one dead. And then two Power Picks. Which will be, there will be Rending Claws. Freeze. And three. Three. Chuff it out. And then these guys. So morale is a thing. <laughs> Adamants. I'll do them first. Three, four, five. They're okay. Him on his own. Leadership seven. Lost four. Four, five, six, seven. He's all right. Then with the leader, leadership eight. Lost three. Five, six, seven, eight. They're okay. This is happening surprisingly. Right. <laughs> Those guys. I'm not quite sure how many. One, two, three, four, five, six. I roll dice. So that'll be six, seven, eight, nine. And whatever. These are. Nope. Neophytes. Leadership eight. So I'll lose another one out of that squad. Because I've got six, seven, eight, nine. And leadership eight. So I'll lose one. That wasn't too bad morale-wise. Yeah. But I ain't really got much of an army left. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, doing well. <laughs> um, yeah. End of the turn. Well, pointage. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a look at some points. You've scored one there. Yeah. And you've scored one there. Yeah. So you go up to 12, 13, 14, 15 to 3. There is three turns for me to get left. So I can score a maximum of two a turn. I can't win at all. Yeah. Even if I wiped you out, because I can score two a turn, it's turn three, so I can score two, four, six points if it ends on turn five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Which still means I'm on 13, which still means I will be behind you. By one, two points. So I can't win it. You can, you could, you, you could destroy that one. I could destroy that one. And then you'd have to make, get onto those two other objectives and knock me off of both of them. From In this, this turn. From this turn onwards. Yeah. Yeah, you know when we said you could win? Yeah, It's mathematically possible. 
But do you want to see what I do on my turn? Is yeah, that what you're no, telling let's, me? Let's, let's that, right, let's see what happens. Gene Steal the Colt, turn three. Right, they've moved up. They've fallen out of combat and have actually surrounded that objective. So I will actually own that objective at the end of this turn, regardless. These guys have fallen back, allowing the Chimera to be able to, you know, extinguish this. And all this guy stood here going, yeah, I'm going to charge up. But hopefully he's not going to be able to. That's the idea, at least. Right, the Patriarch is going to smite. And he smites with a seven. He's definitely within 24. Doesn't do anything. Still, he's slowly but surely succumbing to this hive mind mentality. Right, opening fire. Multi laser, needing fives. That's two hits. Needing threes. That's one wound on the stealers. Go down, heavy flamer. It's three automatic hits. Freeze to wound. Another two wounds on those stealers. I said two wounds. Two wounds? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, two wounds. yeah. so them two. So you're down to one left in that squad. And then they can't do anything. They can't do anything. So we go on to charging. So this is where I get creative. They're going to charge them for six. So they're definitely in. Mm -hmm. He's going to charge these, them, and them. So he's going to get in somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But if I get the maximum, he's definitely going into these. Yeah. He doesn't, he gets a five, so effectively, he's only going into them. Right. Let's start with the Patriarch. Needs twos. And then he needs threes to re-roll. And yes, I'm rolling seven of dice because of his relic. So, man, that would have been good if it had been uh, proper, but no. So that's six wounds on them five. Oh, roll more dice. Five normal stealers needing twos. And needing fours. Six. Six wounds, sir. And one stealer. Yay! Oh, 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 still oh, half. Oh, oh, half still saved. He goes down and red's gonna stay there. Um, then I get to pick a unit, adherence, they're going to fight, so the guy with the power hammer, he hits once with the power hammer, once with his claws, twos, and he does get a plus one strength, so he's strength six, so that doesn't wound, but the power hammer does, so that's one wound so far, dead, and here comes the power picks, Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's correct. Right. Um, two wounds with the power picks. Oh, just. I thought you might have saved him then. And Bear just gonna, again, stand still. <laughs> In my end of my phase, there's no morale. I destroy that objective for one. So that's regardless. Um, I've I've really lost it because let's be fair. If he stops still, because he's still got two. Well, I mean, I've got one, so I'm kind of contesting it. But he only needs to shimmy, so he would end up with two at the end of his turn. <laughs> and I wouldn't end up with anything. So we've played the turn. I killed some more stealers, but at the end of it, I'm done. I'm spent. I am spent, didn't manage to kill any of these characters, neither with explosions. It's a bit of a shame. A <laughs> brick to blow on them would have been awesome. Oh, dear me! Yeah, I think that was one in turn one, that, to be honest with you, Chief. I think after my disastrous turn one, and then your great turn one, I think uh, about the time turn two rolled around, it was like, yep, I'm scoring another... How many points did you score in turn two? Six? Something like that, 4 turn yeah. 1. Oh no, it was more, it was more 8. Yeah, I think. Eight. so yeah, that was definitely the end of it, by the end of turn 2. Played it just in case, because you should always play it just in case. But yeah, at the end of that, that was a bit disastrous for me. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's because of this dodgy terrain. Dodgy terrain, yeah. <laughs>
this, you asked for line this of sight. This cathedral, line of sight, not just line of sight blocking, line of sight aiding. It's like, yes, I'll shimmy through the cathedral and attack you surprisingly. I wonder if, in, because in Apocalypse, you've got to uh, do the distance up and down, so basically trying to charge through that would be very, very hard. Mm. But at the moment, you ignore, you can just walk through ruins if you're infantry. Um, I wonder if in the next iteration of 40k or any updates, they might actually start putting stuff like that in, which would make that building would make it very, very. That building's annoying. Yeah. Oh, it does, it does annoy me today. It's annoying me because the gene steals have been going. Ha ha! Yay! Ha ha! Yay! Ha ha! <laughs> Yay! Ha ha! Sorry for anybody watching that suddenly got motion sickness. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button if you want to see more. The Gene Stealer Cult Army was painted by myself. That's at rootstem.co.uk. Oh, doesn't he look nice? Yes, he does. I do commission painting. The rates are available on there and you can always give me a message at uh, rootstemmultimedia at gmail.com if you are wanting me, if you're wanting to know any prices. Uh, I'm always fair and it's always a good tabletop standard. Right, thanks for that guys, we'll see you next time.